Welcome to Physics Learning. This is the second lecture on thermodynamics. In this video, I am going to discuss about the thermodynamics equilibrium, zeroth law of thermodynamics, and at the end, I will talk about a general misconception which people have that steady state is same as equilibrium state. I am going to talk about that point too. What is thermodynamic equilibrium? A system is said to be in thermodynamic equilibrium if and only if it will be in all these three equilibrium state that is first one mechanical equilibrium second chemical equilibrium and third thermal equilibrium if any thermodynamical system will be in these equilibrium state then only we will say that system is in the thermodynamic equilibrium so i have discussed about what is thermodynamic system what is surrounding what is boundary in the last lecture so if you have any confusion about what is thermodynamic system, you can watch that video. Link you will find in the i button and in the description. Okay. So let's talk about these three equilibrium. The first one is mechanical equilibrium. In the absence of unbalanced force within the system or between system and surrounding, the system is said to be in mechanical equilibrium. So, if a system is in the mechanical equilibrium, that means there is no unbalanced force present. Okay. What will happen if there is an unbalanced force? If there will be an unbalanced force exist, in that case, both the system and surrounding will try to change. Okay. In general. And this change will continue till there will be a new mechanical equilibrium state is restored. Okay. Let's see this cartoon. Let's say we have a system fitted with the piston, okay, uh, a kind of gas inside a container, okay. So if the system has a force Fs and outside of system force is Fo and if forces are not same, that is, let's say Fo is less than Fs, in that case there is an unbalanced force because both forces are not same. So Fs minus Fo is a non-zero quantity. In that case, I would say that system is not in the mechanical equilibrium state. Okay. So what will happen? In that case, this piston will move. Okay. That means there is a changes in system and surrounding. And now it will stop. When it will stop? When a new forces will arise and both forces are same. Okay. So let's say now the force become F prime S and f prime o in the system and surrounding respectively then if these two forces are same so there is no unbalanced force right now therefore now the system is in the mechanical equilibrium state so if you will not disturb any system then it will automatically try to be in the mechanical equilibrium state okay now the second one chemical equilibrium if a system neither shows a tendency to undergo a spontaneous change in its internal structure, this thing will happen when chemical reaction occur. Uh, suppose you have a system and then there is a chemical reaction going on. In that case, the system will spontaneously change its internal structure. Okay. Nor allowed to transfer matter from one portion to other portion. Suppose you have a system. And in one part of the system, density of the particle is much higher compared to the other part. Then there will be a diffusion and the matter will transfer from high density to the low density region. So if a system neither shows spontaneous change in internal structure, nor transfer of matter from one portion to other portion, in such scenario, we will say that system is in the chemical equilibrium state. Okay. So just see this cartoon. From this cartoon, it is very clear that in the left hand side, the density of particle is much higher compared to the right side. Now I will say the system is not in the chemical equilibrium state and the matter will transfer from the left side to the right side and movement of the particle will be such that at the if you leave the system for some time, and the density of the molecule or density of the particle will be constant throughout and now there will be no longer transfer of matter from one part to the other part okay so in the absence of chemical equilibrium both system and surrounding will change in general 
and it will cease only when chemical equilibrium state is restored okay so in the mechanical equilibrium forces has to be same in the chemical equilibrium there should be no transfer of matter or there should not be any spontaneous change in its internal structure now the third one is thermal equilibrium a thermal equilibrium is the state attained by two or more system placed in thermal contact through a diathermic wall what is diathermic wall this is a kind of boundary again i am saying if the concept of boundary is not clear for you then was the previous video so diathermic wall is a kind of boundary placed between these two system or between system and surrounding and such wall such boundary allow exchange of heat okay so if two system are in contact via this diathermic wall then heat can flow between these two system okay so if you leave these two system in thermal contact through diathermic wall for a long enough time then they will exchange the heat and finally they will attend a state which is called a thermal equilibrium okay suppose i have a two system 1 and 2 and they have a different temperature and now if i say that temperature in the first system is greater than temperature in second system and they are in the thermal contact through a diathermic wall then there will be a flow of heat from the one system to another system why i am taking the temperature here because all the system in thermal equilibrium are characterized by the temperature we will see that concept okay and now this heat will flow till the temperature in both the system will same okay so once the temperature will be same in both the system let's say they attend a new temperature t1 prime and t2 prime and if t1 prime is equals to t2 prime then flow of heat will stop now i will say the system is in the thermal equilibrium state we have seen all three equilibrium states so first one is mechanical there is no transfer of mechanical energy between system and surrounding or between two systems second the chemical equilibrium that is no transfer of matter within the system or there is no change in the internal structure in the thermal equilibrium there is no exchange of heat or there is a no heat flow so no mass flow no heat flow no mechanical energy flow if all these three condition are satisfy of for a particular system then i will say that the system is in the thermodynamic equilibrium why this concept is important because to apply the thermodynamics rule the system must be in the thermodynamic equilibrium okay because we have seen the definition of thermodynamics thermodynamics deals with the macroscopic property equilibrium state and the transfer between the equilibrium state right now zeroth law of thermodynamics once we know the concept of thermal equilibrium we are in the place to understand the zeroth law of thermodynamics it says if two simple system a and b are each in thermal equilibrium with the third system c then system a b and c are in thermal equilibrium with one another to understand it let's see this cartoon we have a system c and the system c is in the thermal contact with the system a then from our previous knowledge that there will be exchange of heat between a and c and finally there will be a equilibrium state thermal equilibrium between a and c now suppose we have another body another system b which is also in thermal contact with the c then there must be a thermal equilibrium between b and c so if a is in thermal equilibrium with c b is in thermal equilibrium with c then according to zeroth law of thermodynamics system a b and c all are in thermal equilibrium with one another that is a and b will be also in thermal equilibrium with one another to understand it if ta is equals to tc and tb is equals to tc then ta must be equals to tb must be equals to tc why this zeroth law of thermodynamics is so important it is very important because it establish the concept of temperature in thermodynamics in kinetic theory of gases we have seen the concept of temperature but that is more from the molecular point of view right there we define the temperature as energy as the kinetic energy arise due to the motion of the molecules in a gas right here 
as we are dealing with the thermodynamics temperature must be a macroscopic property of the system so this zeroth law of thermodynamics established that condition of temperature so according to it temperature of a system is a property that determine whether or not the system is in thermal equilibrium with one another okay temperature is just a property so if you know the temperature of two system and both are equal then only we can say that system are in thermal equilibrium so here temperature is deciding factor if temperature are difference that means system is not in the thermal equilibrium state okay so far what we have seen that in thermal equilibrium there is no flow of heat that means temperature is constant so if you leave the system for long enough time temperature is still will be same unless until there is external perturbation similarly in the case of chemical equilibrium matter will not flow so if you leave the system long enough it will be same in the case of mechanical equilibrium there is no transfer of mechanical energy forces will be balanced throughout system and surrounding so nothing will happen so as if system become constant it is in the steady state right it's look like this but there is a catch okay that's why there is a general misconception that steady state is same as equilibrium state to understand the difference between steady state and equilibrium state as a two different concept let's see this example suppose we have a simple rod iron rod within a room so what will happen if you leave as it is we know there will be exchange of heat between rod and room so room i am calling it a surrounding rod is my system so if you leave the system long enough then after some time the temperature of rod will be same as that of room right and there will be no flow of heat between system and surrounding so that's the exactly case of equilibrium state right so there is a equilibrium state i would say the rod and room are in the thermal equilibrium right now see another example just put a heater in contact with the rod okay so what will happen we have seen the concept of conduction so rod will get the heat from the heater and it will increase its temperature at the same time it will radiate the heat in the room right so if you leave for some time then what will happen once the heat received by the rod is exactly same as the heat dissipated by the rod in the room is same at that time the rod will attend a uh, temperature and that temperature become constant but certainly that temperature is not equals to the room temperature okay in this scenario if you leave your system for long enough the temperature remain constant okay so steady state is achieved but why not i am calling it equilibrium state because even in that case there is a continuous flow of heat from system to surrounding okay even the temperature of rod is constant there is a continuous exchange of heat and that certainly violation of equilibrium state condition okay so i would say in equilibrium state there is no flow of heat similarly in the case of chemical equilibrium there is no flow of matter if you are considering another example if you have a gaseous system and there is a continuous outflow of gas from the system to surrounding at the same time there is a continuous inflow of gas in that case the density or the number of molecule within the system is constant that is steady but certainly that's not the case of chemical equilibrium because in the chemical equilibrium there is no transfer of matter so see in steady state i would say the parameter should be constant that's only the condition for steady state any parameter which you can take either temperature or density that should be constant with time but in equilibrium state there is no flow of heat or no flow of matter or no flow of mechanical energy thermodynamics principle thermodynamics laws are applicable for the equilibrium state okay we will stop here just watch my next video that's very important there we will discuss the concept of quasi static process we will develop the concept of work we will develop the concept of heat we will develop the concept of internal energy and so on so 
Thank you. See you again.